Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to what we will be doing in this course, and then I will concentrate on this Google Slides document here, Marketing, Advertising, and Web Media. So first, let's start with what we will be doing in this class. So this class is called Web Media Applications, and so as the name suggests, we're going to be doing stuff with websites. And more specifically, I want to concentrate on using WordPress to build websites. And I won't get into that in this video. However, I would like for you to look into this folder right here, WordPress information. So this is under module one course materials in module one. And then there's this other section I created making pages available to others. That's the whole idea of us being able to see each other's websites that we will build in this class. And then there's a lesson on how to create a zip file. Because for some of your assignments, I would like for you to submit using a zip file. Now, with that said, let's get started. Let's look at this. Google Slides document here. Okay, first slide. Well, no, we don't need to get into that, right? Uh, understanding marketing. So as of the time of me recording this, so it's August 2023, and I hope to reuse this material, and I also hope to keep teaching this class once a year over the next few years, right, hopefully. So um, the reason I tie it into marketing and advertising is, well, two reasons for that. Number one, if you get a chance, take a look at faculty information where I have a, some information about myself. I talk about how marketing is my background. So I've worked in a couple of different marketing agencies before getting into higher education full-time back in 2014. And then currently, I am an assistant professor of marketing at another university. And again, as of the time of this writing, that's the case. But hopefully, fingers crossed, that'll be associate professor of marketing soon enough, like hopefully in two or three years. So we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I'm going to tie this in to marketing and advertising for that reason. And then the other reason is this course is part of the advertising minor. So I'm guessing that many of you are minoring in advertising. Perhaps your major is in public relations or marketing. And then another possibility is you might be majoring in something else or the same things that I just mentioned, advertising or, or um, marketing or public relations, but maybe you're getting a an undergraduate certificate in web media, or maybe that's all you're doing is pursuing your certificate. So lots of different possibilities. And so I want to tie that into marketing and advertising. So what is marketing? Well, my quick version is always that it's about getting people to respond. And so there's a whole strategic process to that about promoting products or services so that you can reach and engage with a target audience, right? So that's technically what you're doing because those are your target audience would be the ones that are most likely. They're the ones that you have identified who will be the best individuals for your product or service. So why not reach out to them, right? And I put on there that it, it involves market research. So you're not going to know how to, or you're not going to know who to reach and how to reach these people and what speaks to them if you don't do a little bit of market research, uh, which would involve identifying their needs. Because as I learned early on, when I was back in my undergraduate days, right, it's not enough to just create a product to sell, you kind of need to have a demand for it somewhere. And then 
one of the things that can happen from marketing research is you will come up with a marketing plan, which would be your blueprint for how to promote a particular product or service that your brand offers. And one of those components, typically when you have a marketing plan, is to have some kind of advertising strategy to it. And any more these days, an advertising strategy would be digital because of just the proliferation of websites and social media. And so whenever there are ads, digital ads, well, typically those will point you to a website, right? So I was thinking, okay, let's, I was trying to think, I want to show you a couple of examples. And I thought, well, I'm currently, so yeah, in August, 2023, I'm currently waiting for my Toyota to be built. So I started the process last June. So it's been two months and they told me, oh yeah, it's going to be, it's going to come in between August 10th to August 14th. So we'll see. I'm guessing the way it's going that it might be another month. But anyway, I thought, okay, let's do Toyota as my example. So say you follow them on Instagram and here's Toyota USA right here. Well, if you look at their info, yeah, they're pointing you to go to their website, toyota.com, right? And then when you go to their website, well, I'll talk about that later. Uh, let's go here. Say you see a video on YouTube or if you're still watching TV or um, that's not what I meant to say. What I meant was uh, when you watch TV, whatever that might be, like a, using a streaming service like YouTube TV or even those other platforms that have advertising like Hulu or other stuff. I can't think of it right now. Uh, so say you see a Toyota commercial, which I see a lot when I'm watching TV shows and movies, uh, it's going to point you to their website. So like you know, on YouTube right here, if I look at the info, there it is right there. Go to Toyota.com. And then even, so I've talked about digital marketing I, um, examples. So I live in the Huntsville metro area in Alabama, and I just Googled it because I know it's close, but uh, 15 minutes from my house is a Mazda Toyota plant, and this is where they build the Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid. And so while driving down the interstate a few months ago, I saw a billboard where it's it featured the Corolla Cross, but at the bottom, it's like uh, it has me visiting a website, toyota.com. So my whole point in showing you these Toyota examples is that a website is an integral part of their advertising campaign. Without that website, there's not going to be anything that would be helpful in getting people to what is marketing again and getting the target audience to engage with the brand. Uh, in this case, hopefully it's to eventually lead to a purchase like what I'm doing. I'm trying to get to a purchase by getting it built. But anyway, pretty cool, right? So there is something to websites being important and there could be a connection uh, to to you as far as what your interests might be. So for example, yeah, my background is in marketing. I went to school for marketing. And when I was working at the marketing agency, I was responsible for, um, I was part of the process as far as like from concept all the way to actually implementing it, whatever that might be. So I've worked on digital ads uh, with animation, for example, or I would build collaterals using InDesign, Illustrator, or Photoshop. Um, I, and somewhere along the way, I was like, hey, boss, I don't know how to do websites, but I would like to learn how to 
do websites. And so um, my boss allowed me to do that. Like I had the opportunity to do some on the job learning training myself. I also took classes related to web design and development and the rest is history, right? So that became something that I did as part of my work as a marketing professional. And so my point in talking about that is you just never know, right? So if you're in public relations or if you're in marketing or if you're in something else, regardless of what your career path is, more than likely a website would be a big part of your company's strategy. And so that would involve knowing and appreciating what goes behind creating these websites. And we're using WordPress because that's one of the most popular or it is the most popular way to build a website. So let me just jump to this real quick, WordPress information. And then there's this. So again, depending on what year you're looking at this, it might have a different year on it. But as of the time of this recording, 2023, top content management systems, if you look, it is by far the most popular way to go about building a website, right? Like the, the others don't even come close. So that's why we're doing WordPress. All right, so let me go back to this one. Okay, a role of advertising. So in the previous slide, I already talked about how marketing, a marketing plan lays out how did I put that? It lays the foundation for successful advertising and website strategies. So then advertising, well, that's a subset of marketing, and it focuses on promoting a brand, product, or service through various channels. So one of those channels would be digital or a website, right? Digital advertising through websites and social media. So advertising is about enhancing brand visibility, and it's about creating awareness about something. So if you don't have a website, it's like you might as well not exist, right? Because how are people going to know about you? And then it's also about generating leads, getting people to be able to land on your website, to learn more about your product, and then go from there to where the next time they have a need, they're going to think of you or if they do already have a need that they will go for your product or service. And there's no need to reiterate this, right? Digital advertising is important, especially with just the popularity or a proliferation, that's what I meant to say, of websites and social media. So power of websites. Well, as, as I already mentioned in the previous slide, if you don't have a website, it's like you might as well not exist as a brand, right? So it's the online face of a business. If you take a look at Toyota's, for example, it's a hub of information and product offerings that they have, all their different vehicles. And it's also a way for customers to engage because they can look at pictures, they can look at how much something is. Uh, it's also a platform or advertising campaigns to drive traffic to. So I showed you examples of how in social media, they have they point you to the website. And then for this one, they use a specific link to tie that into a particular advertising campaign so they can track to anybody or for anybody who clicks on this, it goes to this GR family. Uh, so they're going to be able to track that using web analytics to see how well that's going, their advertising campaign. So just lots of cool stuff going on behind the scenes, right? And all this because somebody created a website that would help support that. So pretty darn cool. All right, integration. So marketing, advertising, website work together cohesively. So hopefully you're getting that picture. I already talked about marketing research, how that helps you identify a target audience. And then that leads to knowing how to better target 
those people. So advertising strategies. Um, and then specifically when it comes to the website part of an advertising strategy that could lead to improvements in the website user experience through compelling content and user friendly design. So theoretically, all the stuff that you see Toyota has going on here, the way it's laid out, it's animation, the information that's on there would be the kind of stuff that people would find relevant and useful and fun as they're trying to search for their next vehicle. So yeah, I spent a lot of time myself looking at all the pictures and looking at like miles per gallon and what kind of stereos they have or um, yeah, what kind of speakers they have and what kind of safety features and all that. Okay, let's keep moving here because I don't know how long I've been talking. Leveraging digital marketing, let's see. Oh, uh, so yeah, it's the, some of the things that we'll cover this semester would have to do with improving website visibility to and anything that helps with how your website performs only makes it easier to use as an advertising platform, right? So there's going to be concepts like SEO that we're going to learn about, search engine optimization. Uh, not so much maybe these other three, we might touch on them, but it's not going to be the focus of this class because it's just beyond the scope of this class because we are just going to mainly focus on knowing how to use WordPress. So hopefully this other stuff is something that you may will have learned or will learn in uh, your other courses related to marketing or advertising. Website optimization, so I already talked about that. Uh, when you understand good website design, then you're going to not do certain things that would make it more difficult for people. You're going to put intuitive navigation. You're going to have fast loading pages because you're not going to bog it down with unnecessary plugins and extensions and different things that will slow it down or images. That's a big one. Images that are too big. So like these images here, they're just going to be, you know, if you take a picture with today's digital cameras, they're going to be huge files. Like we're talking over 20 megapixels, right? And that's going to be very big. And when it comes to displaying images on websites, they don't need to be high resolution. And so if you put too many high resolution images, that could really slow down your website. And as you know, right, like, or if you're anything like me, if it takes more than a second for a web website to load, I'm going to move on to somewhere else. Okay, and then number eight, number nine, we're going to Later on this semester, we're going to briefly touch on web analytics. So we'll get into that. I'll just let you read this. And then best practices right there, I'll let you read that also. All right, so I think I've talked long enough. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to learning all about web media applications with you all throughout the semester.